Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. So I'm really excited. I have three bags to show you full of stuff that I picked up over the last couple days during some of my annual sale. And um, yeah, so let me go ahead and get started. So the first one is from the Reno, Nevada, um, because I went there, remember, I did a walkthrough. From, this is from the um, Legends, something, Le I'm forgetting the name of it. It's a Legends Outlet Mall um shopping at the ledges or something outlet mall in sparks nevada is where i i picked up these goodies from and uh, it was really fun to visit like i said another uh one out of it was literally out of state nevada because like i've mentioned in my walkthrough video we live about two and a half hours from reno nevada from so we crossed the state line and we we're like in another state that always like like i can't wrap my brain around it like those state lines like how like interesting that is you know what i mean because um anyway i think that's really interesting my parent my grandparents had a farm um, in, uh, my great grandparents had a farm in Wisconsin. And so the line, so they literally, their like mailbox was like on the state line. And it was so interesting. Like one foot would be in Wisconsin and the other foot would be in, um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the state next to Wisconsin, but it was so interesting, uh, how that worked out. But it was, I, those state lines are like, they're cool, but like, I just, it was really cool. Like you, you, one foot would be over on Wisconsin and the other would be like, in I was it, is it Des Moines, Idaho. Like I'm totally blanking, um, and I should know this, but I'm blanking all of a sudden. So, anyways, you guys, let me go ahead and show you. Like I said, what I picked up in Sparks, Nevada. Okay, so in another state. So anyway, um, I did pick up this one, this cutie patootie. This this I had been been eyeballing all you know Easter season. This so cute, you guys, with his little um. He's so proud of like that he's got a little egg he's holding. The little cracked shell, you see the detail along the um, the vase there. I mean, that is just so cool how they did that. And I love the pink. I love the little chick down there, the little chickadee down there, the yellow one. And there's just little pops of color, like right here, the yellow chick right here. So cute. So yeah. And then um, it does hold the three wick. Um, I am going to, I suppose it would hold a single wick, but I feel like, I feel like it, I would be afraid that it would like shift, you know, like fall off, um, you know, like wiggle, I don't know, having a single wick, I feel like a three wick fits this because it has kind of like this lip to it. You see this like lip. So anyways, you guys, this was originally $39.95 and I picked it up for $9.99. Yeah, that's an amazing, amazing deal because it was 75% off. Here's the back of him. No, um, I don't see a little tail. Well, he's on his like butt there, his little booty. But um, remember the bunny butt was like so um, popular with the wallflower refill or plug and like the little um, candles had the bunny butt on it, but it's just so cute, his little pink nose. All right, moving on. I also picked up, let me show you, a candle. Now I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I just looked at it a second ago, um, the perfect Christmas. It's so this is such a beautiful label. This is the one that came free, I believe, if I remember right, in the Christmas box. So um, it's got the gold uh, Santa sleigh on there with the gifts inside. My only concern, now that I'm looking at it a little closer, is that possibly it's strong on cold, but possibly, and I could really smell that, that pine when I pick this up. I'm just a little bit, I don't know why there is this, you see this? This in there, is that indicating that it was on a warmer and somebody returned it? I really would hope not. I don't think that's the case, but I know I've heard stories of candles being put on warmers and then being returned. Um, so I really, does that sign, does that mean that? I don't know. Cause like I've never seen that before. See how it kind of like, there's like layers kind of like, I don't know. I think it might mean that. I don't know though. So please let me know you guys. Does that mean, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Also, it's kind of yellow. Like maybe that's just dust, but like you see around the, the edge of it, it kind of looks I don't know. I don't know the story behind this, but on cold, it's it's um, pretty uh, strong. And I mean, this scent is like evokes this, the Christmas feeling. It's just, that's what I love about candles. So this is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. You definitely smell the marshmallows and the pine, like Christmas tree and marshmallows. It's just beautiful. I love the red wax. Again, I'm just hoping, fingers crossed, that it was not a returned on a warmer item. Here's the bottom of it. I know sometimes you can tell if it's been on a warmer at the bottom. I'm going to have to um, 
try to research it online what you know uh the signs of a re uh, warmed candle do you know what i mean because i i have a candle warmer i never use it though i i prefer for me uh just it's just my own preference to like burn it because i like to see like the flames it just relaxes me the look of a candle it just like really relaxes me so yeah the perfect christmas so um those two items i did pick up came to um only seventeen dollars and seventy one cents I saved, how much I saved? Oh my gosh, $49.09. So um, the state tax in Nevada was $1.35. I don't know what the percentage is for tax. Um, I think we're 7.75. I'm 7.75 over here now, Grove. Uh, but yeah, that's really inexpensive for tax, actually, $1.35. Anyways, you guys, it's getting dark, so I'm going to go a little bit faster than I normally would because I don't want to lose any more daylight here. Uh, but yeah, so that, like I said, it was $17.71. So that's a really amazing deal. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in gently there and put that behind here. Right, let me go ahead and show you the next items. Okay, so, okay, so I ended up getting this at one of the stores here in Elk Grove today. Um, so I'm going to show you this one here. So cute. All right, you guys, I had to get this, the leaves, the two pack of leaves. Oh my gosh, you guys, this I have not seen in forever. This scent is so, so amazing. You guys, I love this scent. Like I, I found it, was able to find it in the, the three, two in the three wick candles, but I also wanted it in the, the wallflower refill. So it is Fragrance that welcome you home. It says provides weeks of effortless fragrance, crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Yum, yum, yum. So this was like, I'll, I'll look at the receipt. It was like $7, I think like 50 cents, but really, really, it was half off. I know it's not 75% off. Um, I can do a price adjustment if it goes on sale within that certain period of time, um, which I have a feeling these will, I don't know for sure, but they only had two there at the store. So I wanted to get this, uh, definitely have it because that's like an amazing deal. Then I also, I mean, amazing scent and then not a bad deal. Like, do you know what I mean? So then I picked up one more of these. I don't know how many I bought now. This is another one I wanted to pick up. I mean, I've gotten like, I don't know how many I got the other day when these first came out, but I got another Give Hope. This is a beautiful red, um, kind of like a luminary. You can kind of see the candle in there. Um, this, the keynotes as you all know, probably is peppermint marshmallow. So it's crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. Now, oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. This, they, these have always thrown very well for me, this candle. Um, and it's just a beautiful Christmas candle. In fact, I might even burn it now because I love it so much. It's just really yummy and delicious and very marshmallow and gooey, like gooey marshmallow, peppermint gooey marshmallow. So there's that. They had several at the store. Today, I only just got one more because, like I said, I'm kind of pacing myself because I have a feeling more candles are going to start dropping, and then I can just, like, keep adding. I want to say, honestly, friends, I think I've gotten, so far, roughly about 30 candles on 75% off, roughly. I have to go and count, like, double check, but at least 30, I think, at 75% off, all from, like, different locations. All right, then I also found... One, I haven't gotten this yet at 75% off. I did get it today, though. Salt Is it salted butterscotch? This is the salted butterscotch and vanilla. You guys, this is such a good throwing candle. Actually, no, no, I forgot. This one's like a medium throw. No, 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 I can't remember now. I can't remember, but the on cold? Now, how come I can't remember that? No, it's good, it's good. It is definitely like a butterscotch candy. That's right, this is a pretty good throw. I would say it's like a seven or eight for a single wig. This is like, you know, those... um those cellophane wrapped butterscotch candies is it is like identical to that so I love this they only had one in the store so I did pick it up at 75% off it is just such a delicious yummy again comforting scent um, and it makes me want to eat those butterscotch candies oh my gosh I'm gonna have to get some of those but anyway um so there's that my total today came to at that store excuse me at that store it came to um, only $18.58, and I saved a whopping $37.26. So, yay, again, amazing deals. Amazing, amazing deals. Okay, now that's that store. Okay, next store is um, 
sounds like I'm saying next door. No, the next door I went to is I found this is 75% off, you guys. Stress relief. I need to look at my receipt for the other stress relief I bought at 50% off to see if that one moved to 75% off. It, there's two labels. This label, there's, they look so close, but they're, they are different in price. So this one, this label is 75% off. So I can also get a price adjustment if it is, you know, the same exact one. I might have gotten the one that's a newer packaging, but you guys, this was like $3 and change and I love the scent. This is the Stress Relief Shampoo. Um, so definitely, you guys, I highly recommend this one. Um, it's a great one. So then the next thing I picked up, I found some 75% off candles. So I only picked up one, again, because I'm pacing myself. Um, Salted Ocean Air, you guys. I have never had this one before, but um, I'm really excited to have it. Doesn't that look like the um, rainbows that they have at Bath & Body Works? The rainbow, um, like pottery rainbows that... Um, we don't know what they're used for. Like, are they, you know, plant holder or what? Don't they? They like really do. Anyways, um, salted ocean air. I have seen this, you know, I mean, I saw this when these first came out and, um, it always intrigued me. It's a very, yeah, very like oceany air kind of scent. Um, you know, not gourmand at all, but it's got this like clean ocean breezy kind of, kind of thing going on there. So keynotes are, um, Oh, it's covered up by this sticker. Let me show you. This is the one with the like maze for a sticker, but yeah, it's covered up there. But let me go ahead and take that sticker off and let, and let you guys know what the notes are on that one. Okay. So, um, warm ocean mist, warm summer winds and beach musk. So, um, yeah, there it is. There it is. You guys. So I'm excited to, um, add this to my collection and try it out. Cause like I said, I've never had this scent yet and, um, it'll be great. So, um, this would be like one I might like burn in my uh, bathroom or I'm not sure, but it feels very calming. The scent is like very calming. I almost thought it had eucalyptus in it, but maybe that's the warm ocean air that is a eucalyptus. So, all right, moving on. The last item I picked up is rose. Yes, I picked up rose perfume. So this one is originally $12.50, so it was super, super, like super inexpensive, you guys. Here's a better cover, a closer view of it. But um, this is, um, let's see if it has the notes on here. Let's see, it's kind of hard to read. Anyway, perfume spray. This was, this is just, I love it because it's going to remind me of like the scent. I have it in other, you know, like the shower gel. Um, this reminds me of like, you know, like, uh, how do I say it? Like a rose garden, like, you know, it's like kind of vintage. Um, I don't know. I just feel like, like the ladies back in the Victorian period, you guys know, I love the Victorian era, like so much. I feel like the ladies might've like had perfume that like smelled like roses. You know what I mean? Cause they had to like, like, I've learned a lot about the Victorian era, like the, what the women would do for like, um, to make their hair look like bigger. Um, let me just like tell you guys this. It might like, he might be like, so it's like useless information. But for me, I don't know why I retain this information, but you know, when your hairbrush gets the hair, like, you know, all like, clump, you know, like when you're brushing your hair and it collects in your hairbrush. So what they would do is they would take the, the, um, hair out of their hairbrush and then collect it into like a little, like whatever, like a, like a ceramic thing, collect it and then use that to like make their hair look fuller for like hairdos. They would use their own hair, like almost like recycle their hair and like add it to their hair for like updos and, you know, like they're real high, um, high alpha, not outfits, their hair, high hairdos, like, or, you know, the, the styles that they would do. So I thought that that was very interesting. Um, and so like, I feel like the Victorian ladies might have worn like, you know, cause like back then, you know, it was like, they didn't have like all these, you know, scents that we can make now. So I feel like they would have had like rose perfume. So I don't know. I just love it. I feel, feel like it's nostalgic. It's, um, how do I say it? it's nostalgic. It's a beautiful scent. It's romantic. Like the scent of roses are romantic. So yeah, I definitely wanted to get one of these at least. And it was 75% off. So it's a very nice, beautiful, like identical to like roses in the garden. It smells so, so good. Like I'm strolling through the garden and that's like what I'm getting is like that. So anyways, perfect for like my purse, you know, anywhere, basically grab and go, like throw it in my car here. Actually, I don't want to put it in my car because I don't want the heat to make it like dissipate and make it smell kind of strange. So I'm going to leave it in my purse or in my house or whatever. But even like I could use this as like a room deodorizer spray too, because it's, you know, pretty strong, the rose. 
So anyways, you guys, um, I think of Rose from Titanic. Whenever I hear that name Rose, I also think of like Rose from Titanic. So anyways, um, the, the total there for those three items that I picked up today were, oh my gosh, so inexpensive. It was only $13.86 and I saved $38.64. So it's been, you know, just amazing finding these little goodies at like 75% off. Um, so that's my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I would love to hear what your favorite thing is I picked up this time uh, between those um, three hauls, you know, three different hauls. Um, I actually have one more bag upstairs in my house that I need to show you. I have another little small haul, but um, I just, I'll do that on another, like another haul. Um, I'll just combine it with my other, you know, items, which I know I'll be picking some more up um, tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow at Bath and Body Works. So stay tuned for some more store walkthroughs. Um, uh, you might be seeing this video come up um, in your, you know, um, you know, not messages, but uh, you'll see me come up like on your little feed, you know, YouTube. Um, this this video might come up is what I mean at like early this, uh, what is it? Today's Wednesday, or is it early Thursday morning because it's Wednesday um, evening. See, it's getting dark out. So I have some other videos to show first and then I'm going to show this one. So you may see this early Thursday morning is what I'm trying to say. So you will see walkthrough videos Thursday when you see this, um, you'll see some more later on. You'll see more videos from me is what I'm trying to say later on today. So thank you guys again so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, you know, I would love if you would hang out with me, subscribe and be a part of my me Sarah Star YouTube family and my returning family. Thank you guys so very much for being here. And so with that being said, have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you're at. And I will see you guys very soon. I promise with my next haul till next time, friends, take care and God bless you always, always. I'll see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.